Hey, what's up? It's your 10134. Today we're talking about Marvel Endgame or Avengers Endgame. Um, now reviewing this, um, I'm just gonna take it by number straight up six or six or seven out of ten. I get it. I I can't really decide between the two. Um, so let's go with the six six out of ten. 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10, or 7 out of 10, it doesn't matter. It's either one of those numbers. So, let's go ahead and get into why um, I am not actually that big of a fan of, um, not that I'm not big a fan of Endgame, but, uh, well, if you guys haven't seen the movie yet, go out and see it. Um, I, I think that's easily the easiest thing to do i think you guys just go out and see just go out and see it tomorrow whatever blah blah come back to this afterwards we can talk about why i don't like it blah blah so pretty much why i don't like it so pretty much the rest of this is all spoiler because i really don't want to talk about these films without spoiling something in it um the time traveling thing was completely stupid i thought you could have made something else better um than time traveling. You could have probably done something way better than time traveling. You could probably have a better fight with Thanos in the beginning. Thanos in the beginning, they kill him in the first five minutes of the film. It's kind of funny. Um, and uh, let's see, where else? Um, I, I mean, Tony Stark played pretty well. I think he played a pretty good, pretty good role. Uh, so did Captain America. Uh, I think there were some really good funny parts. I think the funny parts were almost forced, though, a little bit too much. I think you could have gone with a little bit less forcefulness on the funniness. But it's Marvel, and I've watched all of them. So, I mean, it gets to the point where it's pretty tiring. Sorry, I have no idea why I just opened that. Um, what else? Uh, Hulk is good. Ant-Man's decent. I mean, Ant-Man's nothing special to me, but he's decent. Uh, the, one, uh, the one robotic chick I just don't like at all, the blue chick, I, I'm really not a big fan of her at all. Um, but she's the reason why the fight led up to the ending anyways. Um, I, I like, I don't know what else to say about the film. Like, I just, uh, um, Captain Marvel is a complete waste of a character. I don't know why you had to, like, okay, Captain Marvel is really important in two role places in the entire film. In the beginning when they kill, uh, when they kill Thanos, like, no problem. You're like, I've probably done it without needing her. Uh, and then the other one would probably be at the ending where she literally just destroyed the ship and that was it. Like she didn't just like she didn't kill Thanos or anything. Like she like she literally she literally fought Thanos for like five seconds and Thanos absolutely kicked her ass. Um, so just to say it now, I don't think that she played that great. I don't think she, that movie before was necessary for the movie to be what it is today. Um, I know people are going to disagree with me. People are going to be like, blah, blah, blah. It's not true. The film's amazing. Captain Marvel is amazing. Captain Marvel is not a good film. Uh, I don't think her character is that great. I don't know why she keeps going with shorter hair. There's a lot of SJW going on in the film, which absolutely sucks because when you're trying to make it obvious, it's a lot worse than when you're not trying to make it obvious. Like You can do things without making it quite obvious. Um, their choice for the next Captain America did not like that. It should have been Bucky Barnes. What a bunch of idiots. Um, because that's what it is in the comic books when he dies, which is where I'm literally grabbing this book out for you guys. Okay. Not that one. Not Death of Superman. Shoot, where did it go? Oh, here it is. This 560 some odd pages. I mean, this big, this book is huge. I read it. I read the series coming up to it. I read this one. A Captain America... Oh, sorry. Captain America dies. Okay, Captain America dies. And Bucky Barnes takes control. It's literally in the ending here. That's the epilogue. He's on the epilogue. I don't think at all. Literally, he's in the ending of this thing. Like, oh, here we go. Bucky Barnes. Bucky freaking Barnes. Yeah. Oh. He should have been the next Captain America. Um. Uh, what else do I think about the films? Um. Oh man, the 
that film was just a okay. It was just okay. I I I hate it when people are like, oh, it's a great love letter to the fans. I I mean, I am a fan of the Marvel films. I think some of the films are amazing. I think out there, the best films are by far, and people are going to disagree with me on this one. But the best, fi- one of the best films, Guardians of the Galaxy. And then The Winter Soldier are two of the best films. I think Civil War is up there. Actually, I do love Civil War. But this movie is a lot more like... Oh, it just blah. It's just the classic Marvel. Nothing surprising. Like, literally, everything that I thought would happen literally happened in the film. Okay? I'm not lying to you. I knew Tony Stark was going to die. I knew uh, either Tony Stark was going to die. I knew Tony Stark was going to die. Sorry, I knew Tony Stark was going to die. And I also knew Captain America was going to die uh, or get off somehow. Like Both of them were like just not going to be a char- main characters anymore. Um, did, I, did I know Nat- Natasha Romanoff was going to die? I, I don't think so. I, I knew there was like a third character and they thought was going to kind of die off. I thought it was going to be Clint more than anything else. It probably should have been. In my opinion, I didn't think Natasha was a bad character. I don't think she, she was that great of a character, in all honesty. But she was a good, decent background character, not very important, right? Like, she was a good background character. And you know what? That may seem sexist, but I don't think it really is. If someone's a good background character, that's not a bad thing. But enough with this ranching and stuff. Let me go think comment section below. Do you guys like Captain Marvel? What do you guys like? What did you not like? What do you think was stupid? Do you think the time traveling thing was cool or not? Or do you think that was a bad, bad idea? Do you think there could have been a different way they could have done it? Maybe actually fought Thanos and not waste about two thirds of the film doing nothing. So let me go think comment section below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos.